Podcast. My name is Anthony. This is Krita for you to talk about what's going on in the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to give you a little update and the having came up. So I'm going to talk about what might happen. So let's get into the video. So this is what I think about what might happen. So we have this line right here. We have the bull flag. And they say the bull flags are supposed to be half of the how we rose. And then we're supposed to rise halfway after we go up. That's what might be happening right here. And the breakout might be till 11,500. And that's going to be higher, higher than 10,500. And that would be making us a lower, higher high, I mean. And that's going to make us in a new bull market. And then we're going to start going up. And it's going to break this giant triangle that's going to go on forever. But I have to wait till the R side goes down a bit. And also, um, why this supports it is because the 20 mean average is actually below right now uh, below the wicks and that's really good and the bollinger bands are closing so it's indicating that something about to happen and we're above this line in the middle which is the 20 mean average of course so that's also supports it and the volume is right now super small so we're going to have be seeing a big breakout soon so that is something that why I might I'm I'm saying we might be going down. See, we're back inside this triangle that formed, so we can draw like this and be like that. See, we're back inside of it, and and so since we're back inside of it, that that means that we are gonna be uh, we're not out of this channel yet which we do see we're still inside of it and we just tapped the bottom are we going to tap the top again because the top this arrow like points just where the top is so that is one thing that actually does work so that is super cool how all the points are following in just the right zone and if we do actually be faster we can actually break out of this channel and be and come out somewhere f even faster than this line, which is the 31st of May. We can come out somewhere like the 22nd of May or somewhere else because it's not supposed to like follow this line completely. We can even come out like somewhere June 12th, but we are going to go to the 11,000 level soon, I hope. But if we do fail, number one, what can happen? We can break above the break below this 20 mean average. And if we do, we're gonna test the 8,400 level again. And if we do break that, then we're gonna have to test this, which is 7,700 level. And if we break that, then we are going to the bottom of this triangle. So we're supposed to test uh, all those resistance and supports. And that's why this is unlucky for us to fall because there's so much supports helping us. There's the R, the 20 moving average, number one. There is the giant upward trading channel which is number two there is underneath that the bull flag which is number three and we're breaking above that so it can be the top of the bull flag so hope you guys enjoyed my talking about what might be happening and if you did enjoy this video leave a like down below subscribe if you didn't already and leave a like so you could see all my videos so that being said hope to see you in the next video bye